What's going on everybody? It's LSU Maniac coming back at you for another little break. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new product out by MJ Holding Company. And it's called the Baseball Mystery Box. That's the name they give it. And it intrigued me guys. And their marketing is very, very nice on it. I can see some 18 update on here. It's telling you can have a chance of winning these. The Pete Alonzo check out series two they got 18 series two flip it over they got the jordan 19 chrome now these will all be retail packs and then you see cody bell i mean just some unbelievable stuff now whether they put that in there or not guys i do not know but you can see you get seven factor seal packs and one mystery item i did open one of these off camera and i must say it was not bad at all guys i got a 18 series 2 i got a 19 series 2 a bowman platinum it was not a bad box at all i didn't get anything graded but they gave me an autograph of not really anybody but generally in the past guys anything that comes from walmart and if i didn't say these are from walmart all your mj holding stuff comes from walmart but mj holding in the past guys has generally been very bad it's not worth which you pay. I've always thought Fairfield was a better product. You get your Fairfield stuff from Target and generally your pharmacies, Walgreens and Rite Aid or wherever your nearest pharmacy is usually carries those. But I, I must say they did step their game up and the, it's $20 plus tax, about $22 maybe. And I will say the one I got was worth it guys. So let's go. We got two of them. We're going to give it another review, a full review. Let's pull it out. Look like we got a top loaded card in there. Let's see what this is. And I had got that on the last one. Basically, the sticker collection. We're not really going to open this on camera. It's basically just little mini stickers. I'm not really sure if you can get rookies or anything in it. But we're gonna, I'm gonna just give that to my son. But let's check out the packs in this one. We got this Babe Ruth collection, not really, not hitting on much. 19 Series 1, not a, not a really good product as of now. And this one's not a bad one, guys. 2019 Holiday, got all your big four, not bad. 2000 Upper Date, 2008 Upper Deck, and I don't know a whole lot about that one. We got an 18 Series 1, which is not bad at all, and another 18 Series 1. So for 20 bucks, not not the best. Well, I don't know, guys. You, you be the judge, but I'm going to say this box here wasn't as quite as good as my last, but we still got some nice stuff. So we're going to go ahead and rip, I guess, like this. We'll take a look at Series 1 from last year, hunting for... Loriano, Kyle Tucker, maybe get a parallel of these guys. This set was not the greatest last year. I'm not saying you can't still pull some monsters, because you can. Your flagship product, you always got that chance. Nothing really in that pack. Here's this Babe Ruth collection. Not really sure if you can get anything in here that's worth money. I don't know a ton about this product, but it basically features Babe Ruth on every card, kind of highlighting some of his stuff. Some nice older photographs. It'd be nice if you could get some cut signatures or something, but like I said, I'm not sure, not a real familiar with that product. Another one I'm not familiar with, 2008 Upper Deck. Don't really see any odds. Not sure if you can get autographs or anything from here. I had opened one. It had a nice looking die cut. It wasn't a bad looking card, I will say. And we got some sticking on this one. Kind of a shame. Hopefully it ain't messed up too bad. Garrett Atkins, die cut. Here's a nice sparkly X potential. Todd Helton, not bad at all. And like I said, there's some sticking on it. There's a look at the back. Don't see anything numbered. Yankee Stadium Stadium Legacies. 
David Wright, and Vernon Wells. All right, here's the three best packs. Here's that 19 Holiday Baseball. You can definitely pull some nice stuff in here. They got the metallics. And look on the back. We got a nice one on the back, guys. That's what we want. Hunter Dozier. Puig. Chris Davis. John the Plenty Air rookie. All rise. And we did get one of the metallics. And it's not a bad name either, guys. Chris Paddock. It's got that. You can feel it. A little snowflake design. Every other pack you get that. We'll set that one to the side. Charlie Morton, Pedersen, George Springer, and there he is, Fernando Tatis. Not bad at all. All right, 18. I guess this is out of two different, and this is actually a hobby pack. Check it out, guys, on the bottom corner. Did not know they included hobby packs in here. And we got a nice one on the front. A very nice Mike Trout. I will take him. Another Puig. And Tops is good about that flipping. Dylan Peters, Stanton, Max Scherzer. We got a Carlos Correa for my Astros, 35th anniversary. And look at us. We got us a short print. Looks like a Jose Abreu. If it can focus. Forty three is the number, but I'm pretty sure that's a uh short print. Aaron Judge. There's a Eddie Rosario. Let's see what we got. Yep, and that one ends in eighty seven. So that was a short print. Roof Ned O'Dor, Jeff Samarja, and Lance Lynn. That wasn't a bad pack. Not at all. Nice Jose Abreu. And here we go to finish this box out. Plus that extra item we got. Hobby pack of Series 1. Mike Clevenger. Wayne Wright. Seattle Slayers. We got a Justin Upton. 35th anniversary. Stanton. Cotton and Manny Machado. Now let's see what we got. And it's going to be an autograph out of, looks like maybe 2016 Chrome. Yep, 2015 Chrome. 2015, Kendall Graveman. Any athletics fans, help me out because I don't know him. And they usually do this. They're going to put in some guys that really didn't make it. Now, if we could, if I would love to see a video of somebody pulling that just to confirm that they really are doing that. You got another one of these sticker collections. Another top loaded card. And let's check our packs out, see if there's any differences. Series 1, Babe Ruth, another 18. Looks like pretty much the same packs. Yep, and we're going to have another hobby pack. So not bad. It's, I'm not going to complain with that at all. We'll go in the same. Well, let's just start with this 2008. But like I said, I did rip another one off camera, and it, it was a little bit better than this one. Had that 18 Series 2 looking for the uh, short prints of Acuna. There's a nice one right there, Miggy Cabrera. X Potential. Then we have another die cut on the back. Don't see any numbering. I don't know if they numbered or had autographs. I'm not real familiar with this set at all, but that's a nice looking card. Not bad. PV and that guy there. And we'll roll through this Babe Ruth. Really don't think you can get too much out of here. Career achievements. That would be sick though if a cut signature showed his face. 19 Series 1. All 
Garcia, Lopez rookie, Joey Votto, Brandon Crawford, Altuve, another Puig. This has been the Puig break here. And the three good ones, another holiday edition, 2019. And we got another good one right there, guys. Eloy Jimenez. The holiday pack's been good to us. Clint Frazier, Oda Rizzi. Another decent one, Mike Yastrzemski. Justin Verlander. The Metallic is a Vasquez. Strasburg, Scherzer, Hunter Pence. And we're going to end it up with 18 Series 1. See if we can't find us a Devers, Flaherty, or Bueller, Billy Hamilton, Lindor, Stanton, Scherzer. We got a throwback of Lindor, a home run challenge card. Or just a advertisement. And there's the Walker Bueller. That's what we're looking for. Not bad, guys. We've been getting some pretty nice rookies in this break. That is for sure. Carrasco and a Nelly Cruz. And we're going to end it with the Hobby Pack. And that's nice. Nice to know that they are including some Hobby Packs in here. Guriel, Mookie Betts. Zimmerman, we got a rainbow full of Daniel Murphy. Seattle Mariners, Robbie Ray, Villar, and Simmons. And let's do this last thing, see what we're going to get. And we have Wes Rogers draft picks for the Colorado Rockies. And don't know a whole lot about him. 2014 set west rogers not sure but yeah guys that's a look at it i look at it i mean not bad at all if you ask me for 20 bucks take your chance we did pull some nice stuff bueller the yastrzemski very nice eloy this miggy cabrera very early in his career graveman autograph jose abreu short print pulled the trout Tatis and a Chris Paddock metallic. So overall, not a bad break at all. And I'm not going to complain with that. And if you ask me, I think MJ Holden stepped their game up this time, guys. So if you're around Walmart and see them, I wouldn't hesitate. Pick them up, buy it with confidence. Let me know what y'all get. And let me know in the comments if y'all have y'all bought any. And if you've got anything good, I'd be like to hear what you got, guys. Well, I'll leave my uh, Facebook link in the description, as always, guys. If y'all don't mind, please give me a thumbs up. Helps out the channel growth. And I'll see y'all on the next one. LSU Maniac out of here.